Hi, animal world is full of interesting creatures and unexplored facts about them. But why should you Google it and waste your time when you found my channel where I share interesting things that can surprise you? Today you'll find out Why woodpeckers don't die from concussion? What animal defecates only once a week? And how jellyfish can live forever? Poop NATO, guess what went wrong? Eating poop, eating poop and is not even the stranger thing. Maybe they don't have brain at all? Slots are known for their incredibly slow moving nature, but it turns out that such sluggishness also carries over into their bathroom habit. So much so that they only defecate every 5 to 7 days on average. What? and actually lose up to one third of their body weight in a single movement. The stool is pushed out in one fell swoop so impressive that horrified bystanders can see the animal's stomach shrink. The week-long delay between bowel movement is not even the strangest thing about sloth poopy habit. Sloths actually do a little dance at the base of the tree to create a hole for the feces and then shake their headquarters once more to cover it up. Over 50% of sloths die when they defecate. This is because most sloths climb down out of the protective trees to poop on the ground. This makes them vulnerable to predators, especially jungle cats, as they are even slower on the ground than in trees. Let's draw an analogy with you. You, a 160-pound man, go to a bathroom every 7 days. Before pooping, you do a little dance around the toilet. Then, when you are ready, you lose 50 pounds of your weight. Such a massive turn. And after all, you have 50 percent chance of being killed by a jungle cat. Slots are the only animals with bizarre pooping habits. Whales often employ bowel movements as a sort of defense mechanism. Canadian underwater photographer Kerry Wilk was diving off the coast of Dominica when a sperm whale approached him. Guess what went wrong? The whale began defecating next to Wilk for a number of minutes. After the whale made a poop nado, it proceeded to bob up and down in the water, splash its tail around and basically make the poo ball as large as it could hide itself. So stop talking about <laughs> Enough. Let's talk about tentacles. I mean about jellyfish. Meet the immortal jellyfish, a creature that has been causing a stir in the scientific community for its seemingly infinite lifespan. Here's what actually happens. Their tentacles retract, their bodies shrink, and they sink to the ocean floor and start this cycle all over again. Does immortal jellyfish turning into a baby again? Simply explained, yes. And not just once, they can do it over and over again. If you imagine something huge, no. They are tiny and a maximum of 4.5 mm tall and wide. Younger jellyfish have only 8 tentacles and are 1 mm tall, while adults can have up to 90 tentacles. But can they die or are they stuck in this boring life, spending endless hours just floating around without retirement? Yes, they can die as if they get consumed by another fish or if a disease strikes the jelly. Down with water creatures, let's get out of water. What if we combine Charles Darwin, Bark and Spiders? We'll get Darwin's Bark Spider. What makes this spider so special? The web. Darwin's bark spider's web is the largest, strongest and the most complex worldwide. The web's bridge line could extend up to 82 feet and the spider can cross a river depending on its web. The silk as it produces is the strongest amongst all spider species, twice as strong as any other spiders and 10 times tougher than Kevlar. Also, forget a post coitus cuddle. The female Darwin's bark spider will engage in sexual cannibalism once the male's done the deed. She is not averse to catching and eating her sexual suitors before, during or after sex. Studies have shown that cannibalism provides the females with superior resistance as the nutrients derived from the male are effectively tailor-made for making baby spiders. What if I told you that right in your backyard there lives a creature that eats 5 times its weight every day and produces detergent in its gut? No worries, it wouldn't be interested in you at all. In fact, it's a vegan. Eat your vegetables! In order to digest plants better, caterpillars produce a corrosive environment in their guts, similar in properties to commercial cleaning products. So, how does a creature that feeds on toxic plants and produces detergent in its gut grow so rapidly? There is no delicate way of putting it. Caterpillars are able to do this by pooping and peeing effectively. Yes, I know, I promise do not talk about I know, but in fact, they just eat and poop, eat and poop and repeat. After approximately 10 days, the caterpillar will make a J shape, attach itself with silk and begin its transformation into a butterfly. If you have a snail as a pet and your fella doesn't show signs of life, don't worry, probably 
ages to sleep. Because certain land snails can sleep for up to three years. Gastropods don't give a darn about the sun and schedule. Instead, they'll sleep in off and on for several hours at a time, and then have a marathon wake session that lasts around 30 hours. They can hibernate for periods of up to three years, which seems like an incredible amount of time. Again, this is their survival instinct kicking in. If the conditions aren't favorable, they'll stay asleep until it's safe to come out. Now a small lesson how to successfully smash your face against a tree. A woodpecker's brain takes a big hit with every peck against a tree, yet the animals don't get brain damage. Maybe they don't have brain at all? Probably you think that woodpecker's skulls have adaptations such as spongy bone in the front of their skulls that absorb or dissipate the shocks from their pecks, protecting their squishy brains. There is just one problem. Woodpecker heads do not absorb shocks at all. Let's find out. So first, they close their eyes at the moment they impact the wood. And this is to protect that there are any splinters that are jumping up the tree would hit their eye. Many of their body parts, strong beaks, grasping feet, and stiff, strap-like tails have evolved to maximize the kinetic energy they deliver with each blow. If their skulls absorb that energy, they just need to pound harder, which would negate any benefits from the absorption. When a woodpecker pecks wood, its entire head, including the brain, comes to a stop at the same rate. A human who had butted a tree at woodpecker speed would absolutely be conscious. But we have extremely large brains. Don't forget to use it. Woodpeckers have smaller and lighter brains than ours, which greatly reduces the pressure that they experience upon each peck. A woodpecker would have to hit a tree at twice its normal speed or peck something four times steeper than the average tree to get a concussion. So that's all for today. Now you know seven bizarre facts about our neighbors on the planet. Subscribe for more, take care of nature, and always discover something new with me.